life. Hello if you're watching this on the replay. Um, just a quick video to say hello from Cork and to update you on what's going on. So yeah, just wait for wait for folks to come in. But today I'm working on the new normal. <gasps> Grunty's here. Hey, Elmeek. Hey, everybody. You should see how precarious this uh, this setup is. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm not too bad. Things could be worse. Um, hey Catherine. I am excited to go home. Hey Allison. Hey Dawn. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> it's now just after 12. So yeah, I just thought I'd come on for, you know, maybe half hour maybe half hour or so, 45 minutes, just to say hi and catch up with you all. We're going home tomorrow morning, so I've been working really, really hard on my cross stitch. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, sorry, <laughs> I told you it was precarious. Lily, that's okay. I'm imagining that'll happen a few times. It's a tissue box and a glass <laughs> and the mirror. <laughs> oh, oh, are you gonna do it again? You're gonna try to do it again. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Physics. Right. So, sorry. Hey, an angel's mom. Here's the new normal. I did the swirl up here and I did all of this last night. I think I got a, just over 500 stitches. I feel like it's gonna happen again. I can see it. I can see it sliding. Hang on. Nope. Hang on. There's gotta be a better way, right? What if? I do it the other way. Glass, tissue box, phone. Try this for a second. <laughs> so yeah, I got to 10% last night. 10% of the overall pattern is done. So that's really exciting. Hey Moxie. Oh, right. There. I think that's better. I'd knock on wood, but it's all attached to the desk and I don't want to knock it over. So yeah, what are you all up to? What are you working on? Tell me, tell me. I have been doing silly stuff. Like yesterday, Heike was online, Stone Cold Coffee Crafts, and she uh, suggested this Pokemon community game streamer, <gasps> Linda. Hi, thank you so much for resubscribing. 15 months? Thank you. Oh, also, Burp Box, thank you for mentioning that. Um, please don't tell me what's in the box. <laughs> I have not gotten mine yet, and I hope that I get it next week. I hope I'm home to get it next week. I don't know what's going to happen yet. 
that has not been finalized, but I know that when I go back tomorrow morning, uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to the post office and pay my customs fees. But then on Monday, it's a bank holiday because it is Bridget's Day, or they're celebrating Bridget's Day, which was yesterday. And um, so there won't be any mail on Monday or Saturday or Sunday. So hopefully, um, hopefully I'll get it on Tuesday. Gosh, I really hope so. It'll be Tuesday or Wednesday, I think. Excuse me. But yeah, you're right. It's it's going to be harder and harder to not be spoiled. People have been really, really good um, in my Discord. That's all I'm asking, really. Because I can avoid Instagram and Facebook and, you know, that sort of thing. And YouTube videos. School stuff. Ooh. What are you making a logo for? I'll end up, no, I'm not at home. I'm in Cork. I'm in a hotel right now. Can you tell? Those are not my pillows. <laughs> I am with James. He and his mother are in the other room uh, that's connected to this one. And she is getting another treatment today. But not until like almost five o'clock today. Need to shower? Okay, no worries. I'll talk to you soon. I should be working. All I want to do is take a nap. Oh no. Are the kiddos keeping you up? Got that one there. Perfect. I've been finding little ways to make the long dog work for me now. It's much better um, now that I've fixed Pattern Keeper because um, Pattern Keeper had a blip in it where it had m missed, like it had condensed and a whole line on the page was missing. So once I got that fixed, it was a lot easier, but then I made a, I made a, a newbie mistake somewhere, somewhere down in this corner. <laughs> So I'm kind of going around so that I can go and fix it. My friend's dream to start a doggy daycare. Oh, the projects to make stuff for a real or fictional client. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, hey, you on at home. Yeah, that's no problem. That's no problem. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for choosing to lurk in the stream. I am stitching. Unfortunately, there's just, I was trying to like, think of a way to make it so that you could watch me stitch instead of just seeing my face, because it's more interesting, but um, we are still crafting, so that's why I'm in this category, um, but I'll try to turn it around every once in a while and show you, but what are you all working on today? Are you also stitching or are you, well, most of you are probably working, like, it is work time, isn't it? But yeah, I am really, really proud of myself because of yesterday. Is that Samalama Bam Bam? Hang on. No, that's all about diamonds. Hey! Sorry, I can barely read that color of your username. It's this blue color on my end and it makes my eyes go all weird. Also, you're like more than arm's length away from me. <laughs> Hair ties. I only have one. I'm sorry. That's not going to work. <laughs> the angle is all wrong. I'm lurking too. Hey, Smolly Quinn. I'm lurking too. Moxie says, I'm currently. On my living room floor, cutting up a second hand but perfectly good bed sheet to use as fabric to do a trial of a cape I'm going to be making for my friends. <gasps> That's so exciting! I used to use um, second hand sheets as well. 
back when I made, I made costumes for cosplay because I was really into anime when I was in high school and um, there was one design in particular that was really like weird and I didn't want to cut up the good fabric first. Trying to finish part five of Dark Queen of the Earth. Good luck in Angel's Mom, you can do it. Oh, there's a Pokemon. Never made clothes before. It's not as hard as it seems. Yeah, it was really cool. I'm, I'm sorry that I don't still have pictures because um, I used to upload my... You know what, I probably do on a hard drive somewhere, because I always keep my hard drives, but um... I must, I must, like, plug those in and see. Though I am afraid of what I'm going to find. <laughs> but, you know, those were the days where um, we were uploading those pictures to cosplay websites. So I had, like, a profile and I'd post all the pictures there. And I thought they were safe, but they weren't. I'm going to plan the meetings for reviewing the annual reports of our institutes. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> not. Hopefully it's not too stressful. I said like I was putting away my daughter to bed and she just started throwing- Oh no! I'm so sorry. Sick kid duty is no fun. I hope that she feels better very quickly. Maybe it just needed to come out. Hopefully it's not like a long-term thing. Oh no, Caterpie escaped. Alright, so we got, we got those stitches done. <laughs> Posted my night in the general gotta lark though. Okay, thank you. Thank you for posting. I can't um, switch screens or anything because I'm in a hotel on my phone. But I will have a look after stream. Enjoy your lurk. Thank you for coming in. Um Yeah, it's been it's been really interesting. Um we've had some really good dinners actually. Been going out to to dinner at night and um yesterday I went to the gym and it was really good. Um Hey, unicorn wings. I'm good. How are you? I've been sick for three weeks. I'm sorry. Hey, Icy Gay. Welcome in. How are you today? Um, I went down to the gym, and I'm going to tell you right now, I have not done a jog or a run in years. Years. But, you know, because um, in the last, in the last five years or so, hang on, when did I get married? When did I go on my honeymoon? Twenty seventeen is where my ankle problem started again. So. Um, and every year I would have like an injury to my ankles. So I had to, like, I wasn't running before that. I think I gave it a go in 2013 and realized how much I didn't like running outside. So at the time I was living in South Korea and I was really weirded out by gyms. So I didn't go to the gym and it made me you know, gain weight and stuff, because I just wasn't motivated, and going through a lot of stress and stuff, but anyway, before that, try to picture it, <laughs> in 2008, 2009, I was a gym junkie, and I, I loved working out, um, and my favorite thing to do was run, because, well, lifting weights and running, and, um, I've been trying to pull it back together and like convince myself that I can do this again. Um, 
So anyway, yesterday I got on the treadmill and I ran. I ran again and it didn't. It, it felt awkward on my ankles because, you know, I've had several injuries, but, um, yeah, it wasn't so bad and I did it and I was about to like stop. And then the little timer, because you, I use an app that's like a Couch to 5K app. The timer came up and the little voice said, you're halfway there. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to give up now. <laughs> and I kept doing it. It was great. Just got in from the gym, which is worse than folding laundry, but I went and did my exercise. Woo! We did it. Good job, Ice Easy Gay. Hey Maggie, just working and lurking. How was Cork today? It's actually a really nice day outside. Uh, the The sun is out right now. It's beautiful. That's why I had to, I had to close the curtains. I have a question. I want to see. Hey, Kent's mom. I haven't seen you in ages. I just want to see what other people would do. Okay, so chime in, everybody. I have a diamond painting with over one hundred and fifty thousand drills. So many drills are popping off because they are concave and can't grip the glue. I contacted the seller. She wants to know how many drills I need. There are 50 colors and it is confetti times a thousand. I don't know how to estimate what I need. I feel like I just need to get all new drills. What would you do? I would tell the seller that. In the past, um, in the past, I have contacted a seller and said, here are pictures from 10, 15 different colors. Here are the problems. And this is why I'm asking you to send all new diamonds or ask for a refund. Say, this is not working. This is not good quality. This is what I paid for and you didn't give it to me and I want a refund, and then get it somewhere else. Honestly. Um, do you mind sharing where you purchase that? Because um, depending on the store, if it's a store that's like, like DAC, Diamond Shop, um, even to an, well, every moment doesn't have those problems, but um, those, at least those two shops, because I work with those the most, I work on those canvases the most, I would say that they would resend the diamonds. Now, a friend of mine, I gave them uh, the big reader's path that I got from Diamond Shop, and at the time, the diamonds were crap. And um, they have since changed their square drills, but like, I don't know what happened, and we just we just threw it away. Now, I'm in a position where I could do that, I don't think everybody would be. And I would just say, call that, or not call them, email them, tell them the story, and explain that it's not okay. Uniquely yours, down under, I sent pictures of three random colors and the, of the canvas. Yeah, I would just ask for all of the diamonds again. Just be like, I need all of them. All of them are bad. They all have these problems. Where are you manufacturing your diamonds? <laughs> or a refund. Yeah. It's square drills and she doesn't have the picture anymore. Do you know who the artist is? Because you could ask the artist for permission. And it's maybe, you know, if you feel like it, you could explain. Like, I bought it from this store and they didn't follow through with the quality. And I would like to do this picture. Do you mind if I ask another company to make it as a custom? And as long as it's like a legit co uh, company, definitely not who it can or something. Um, some artists are fine with that. It's an idea. I don't know. What would you all do? Catherine says, ask for replacements. Crunchy says, ask for it all. It would suck to have multiple time, ask multiple times, yeah. I have heard, I have never purchased from Uniquely Yours. Um, I have heard lately 
through the grapevine that people are saying the quality is not there. I don't know what it is personally, but it sounds like they got their diamonds for cheap or they got bamboozled and the manufacturer started giving them bad diamonds, but they need to be doing quality control, right? That's important. I don't think that diamond painting companies can slack because once they get it in their hands, they can see where the quality is going. I've only seen it as a puzzle, but I'll look into it. The cheapest price to get replacement drills is over $200 and you shouldn't have to because the, you know, the quality is bad, right? I wouldn't be purchasing new drills. I would be telling them that they, they need to give me another set of diamonds. And then hopefully, if those drills are bad, hopefully between the two sets you'll have enough. The other thing that you can do in that case is to use like a, um, if you're in the States, Diamond Dots makes this dot stick and it's a glue that you can put on the diamond painting to kind of create like a, almost like a poured glue effect. I've heard of it. I don't know if Stitcherista did it or who did it. Did Miss Coffee do that? I don't remember, but that might be an option too, especially when it's a, um, especially when it's something special that you can't get anymore. But I wouldn't be paying any money for something I've already paid for, right? I think that's silly. Good morning, Crafting with Care. I'd be buying four other kits for 200, right? Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, anytime. You can ask questions anytime. I'm glad to help. We're here to uh, crowdsource our <laughs> Our advice and information. I wouldn't pay to replace the drills. The company should do it for free. If they aren't going to do that, I would ask for my money back and try to get it as a custom from a different company. Exactly. <gasps> Jen! Everybody say hi to Jen. Welcome back, Jen. How are you? How are you feeling? I hope that you're okay. Long time no see. Big hugs. Hey, Creative Pixie, how are you? <laughs> How's the weather? Today we are cross-stitching. I'll show you where we are right now. So, I am at 10.25%. <gasps> Steph's here too. There we go. So, oops. Sorry, there's a shadow. So here is a little swirly, it's so pretty. And I've been working on coming down this side of the unicorn and finishing the bubble. My most favorite picture, it's a tiger family coming to the living room through the picture above the fireplace. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh my gosh, the thorns on Dark Queen of the Earth are going to be my death. I bet. I bet. Honestly, it's not that I'm glad that I'm not doing it. I just, I'm glad that I don't have the pressure. So, okay. Do you all know Christine L. on YouTube? She is a floss tuber. And I just watched her whip parade last night. Doing okay, still keeping my leg up. I have plenty of help from my mom and brother and three nursemaids. How's everyone doing? It's so nice to be back with everyone. It's so good to see you back. I'm glad you're okay. Hey Siri, how are you? Welcome in. Um, Christine L is a floss tuber. So it's C-H-R-I-S-T, 
I-N-E, Christine with a C, L-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. um, Christine is from Canada and made an update. Oop, there's a Pokemon. I have no idea what that is. A raven. Oh, I really want it, but I can't text. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so she hasn't, she hadn't updated in eight months and basically she made a video, an update video and said, you know, um, I've been just trying to take care of my mental health and I resonated so hard with so many things that she said that she, she's getting, um, she's getting help for ADHD. She was diagnosed with ADHD and uh, she already had anxiety and depression and that her videos, like her crafting, she felt this pressure to like have something new to show all the time. And you know, the typical floss tube format is like, here are my finishes for the week. Here are all the things that I'm working on. Here are all the shout outs to people. Here are my plans. Here's my haul. Like she felt like, she said that she felt a lot of pressure to to do things, to buy things, to uh, format her content in such a way that it started making her not want to do it. Hey, Crafty Jackalope! Hope everyone is well and feels good to be able to hop on today. Yes! Yes, thank you. I'm glad you're here. How are you doing? We're, ha we're having a question, he oh, a heat wave today? It's 10. Ooh, with a wind chill of negative 50. <laughs> Bring on June. <laughs> yeah, it's all uphill from, no, downhill from here. Not uphill. Thank goodness. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I watched her talk about how last year, while she took like six months off of stitching, while I can't look at Discord because I'm on my phone, but I will after the stream. I can't like do the fancy stuff today, but I will after stream. And we'll be back to normal next week, more than likely. Um, we haven't made plans for whether I'm coming up next week or not. Hello, Anne. Let's see, Anne has a question. I had a custom from Dreamer Designs. It didn't look good. It has too much red in it. I asked for a replacement or my money back and they told me they couldn't do that. I would have to go out and buy the diamonds. I paid 109. I thought it would look better in it so I won't buy from them anymore. I'm going to look for another company. I hope I can find one. I'm really sorry, Anne. I do have a list. Um, that I found from my friend Katie. And there are a lot of diamond painting companies out there that will give you like a mock-up first. Um, have you have you put the diamonds down yet? I'm surprised. So on one hand, if you've put down the diamonds and you're not happy, I still think that you should be able to get a replacement at least like them to, to give you um, a new one, you're not happy with it. Um, if you hadn't, then, you know, a f full money back maybe, I don't know, I don't know how they work. What I do know is that their refund policy is complicated. It's not like money back guarantee. Um, I got a custom from them, but I haven't placed any diamonds down and I don't, so I can't give any advice and I have never affiliated with them or anything like that. I've never uh, gotten anything from free for them, from them. Um, I do know that their style tends to go more saturated though. So the picture that I sent was very soft, but if it had, 
reds are hard, but if it had had reds in it, I would have imagined it would be really bright. But I'm really sorry. I, I don't know what to say. That's a lot of money to spend on one canvas, though, isn't it? I'll post my update in Discord later. I can't believe how quick MFE is going down. The more of the variegated I put down, the better I like it since I pulled everything from Stash. Yay! That's so exciting. <laughs> right now, I'm not feeling my MFE, but I will be coming back to it, I'm sure. See, the thing is, is that I spent like 10 days on that project. 10? 10? 12? 10 to 15 days on that project. And so that's a lot of time for me. Typically I spend three to five days on a project and then I change. I rotate. Um, and I'm really feeling this project right now. So again, what I was talking about this false tuber, Christine, Christine L. Uh, please go check her out. Um, what she said really just sat with me and she said, so while I was having, when I was trying to take care of my mental health and I decided that I wasn't going to make any videos, I stopped cross stitching for six months and then I picked it back up. I worked on one project at a time. I found the love of the project and I just kept going with it. And I didn't feel any pressure at all to have to work on other things just so that I could have an hour long video. And I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, we go through seasons and right now my season is like, I want to focus on this for a week and then I'll put it away. Do you know what I mean? And the next one that currently, the the one that I'm feeling a pull towards is Gaia. Good morning, Tanya. Let's see. It was a picture of my family on vacation. That's the other thing, Anne. This is not your fault or anything like that, but I find that diamond paintings of people are not great. Um, Faces don't do so well. People ask me on YouTube sometimes, like, why do you always get cartoons all the time? Personally, it's because I think that those, that cartoons look the best pixelated. When you try to do something realistic, it doesn't come out very well, you know? It's literally someone right outside of my door. Shauna, hello! Hey Celtic! That's what I have to do, work on one, otherwise I put it down and I don't get back to it and it sits unfinished. So normally I don't have a problem changing um, projects a lot, but lately I've just been feeling very pressured from my brain. It's not from other people. Hey, Real Tony Montana, welcome. Hi, how are you? Can I ask a question? Of course. To be in the mood, be excited to work on the project. Yeah. I don't do faces. I can't imagine having faces staring at me on my walls. <laughs> What's shaking? Right now we're cross stitching. So, because I'm in a hotel, I can't do my usual like fancy setup where you can see what I'm working on, but this is what it is. called the new normal so how are you doing today it's a family joke the only projects I ever finished were my babies <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> just saw you have the trading buttons for training buttons yes I want to try that with my cats absolutely I'm I'm really curious to see if if it'll work if you're interested in helping me get those buttons, um, I have a wish list down below and you can go check it out. Okay, 
sorry, the chat just like blew up. So hang on a second. Let me go back. So personally, I found that it's okay to go through seasons with crafts, especially when your mental health is affected. For me right now, diamond painting is taking a backseat and knitting is taking that spot. Yeah, I, I feel that um, when I was in the U.S. over Christmas, New Year's, um, I just knit. I think I stitched for two sessions, just like an hour or two each, and then I just, I just didn't feel like stitching. So I was knitting, I finished two socks, two, one from two different pairs, um, and it felt really good. Is there a difference between E310 and 310? Yes. E310 is UV activated and it will glow in the dark. But you do need to have it under some sort of black light or artificial light, like an LED light, I find works best. So for example, in Diamond Art Club's um, Mad Kitty, which I finished, it has E310. And when I have my filming lights on for a while and I've been streaming and then I turn off all the lights in the room, boom, it lights up. Um, so it's a very, but it does not charge with natural light. It needs to be in a room that has like bright light and then it goes dark and it'll glow in the dark. It's very, it's very nice. I've been working on one pattern. I gave myself a deadline, but I'm feeling out pulling Miss Cherry Blossom. Ooh, let's do it together. <gasps> I lost my chat. Okay. <laughs> I lost my chat for a second. Um, yes, Miss Cherry Blossom would be amazing. Um, I would like to pull her out as well, but I'm feeling Gaia more right now. The fabric is beautiful. If you're interested in the fabric, um, I think it's called Sigilite. No, that's the more purple one. MisleadPages.com get that. Finishing up the babies. Wouldn't want to leave those unfin unfinished. Not at all. Listening while working. I've started to inventory craft supplies. <gasps> Sounds good. Can you come over and do mine too? Good to be so happy to get into stitching. Can you start stitching today? You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So yeah, this is the she might have called it Aurora Borealis. I'm not sure. I don't know what Jesse called it. I'm so sorry. Hey, Shell. Um, but MissLadyPages.com for all of your fabric needs. Jasmine, good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, so from... This year, my mantra is just going to be to not let the pressure of having a YouTube channel influence the way that I craft. I mean, I think I'm at a point where I don't I don't think that other people are judging me. If they are, I don't care. But um, the last thing that I want to do is judge myself and hold myself to unrealistic standards. So let's just work on the projects we love and gush about the projects we love and not feel like we have to have 10, 15 things to show. I do so many crafts, it's impossible to stick only to one between quilting, crocheting, knitting, diamond painting, pottery, coloring, and I always want to learn new crafts. It's madness. I'm the same way, Tanya. I love learning new, sorry, I just noticed there was something on my shirt, new things. Um, and it gets me in trouble sometimes. <laughs> Taking a break from working to hang out and chill. Well, thank you for coming to hang out with us. You have two projects on Miss Layfed, Paige's Fabric. Nice. Don't judge you. I know y'all don't judge me. It's me. It's me that judges me. 
which is unfair. Till I have the stitches out, I'm sitting with my leg up to hide a stitch. Hopefully I'll have stitches out after next week. I'm counting down. <laughs> we'll count down with you. There's a Pokemon, Simipore. A geyser Pokemon? They recommend a netball if you have one. Okay, so, um, yes. My floss tubes, obviously they're on a new channel, Rachel Ray Fiber Arts. Um, they're gonna be smaller. I'm gonna aim for half an hour um, for just a little while, but have more progress on the projects that I am working on because I feel like if I can do seven days on a project I'll have a lot of progress oh thank you Crenty thank you for that shout out I appreciate it but yeah those talking those talking buttons for dogs actually quite curious to see I I know they have to work because that's how dogs behavior works but will she will she really um, take to them I don't know because she's just very sassy you know this she is very, very sassy. I just got a message from a friend of mine. Hang on. And it said something about a solicitor, so hold on. Two seconds. Please don't fall. Uh, I'll answer that later. Okay. No worries. It's important, but it's not urgent. I've seen a YouTube channel of someone doing the buttons with a cat. It's Billy Speaks. Aww. The, the one I know of is Bunny, and it's a dog. Very, very cute. I do worry that her sass is just too high. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's almost been 45 minutes already? Already? That was quick. Let me see what else was there that I wanted to talk to you all about. Mm. Need water. Everybody get water, okay? I don't think my cats would cooperate. <laughs> oh, Amaretto. I hope Amaretto is good, doing good. Especially with the new baby. Necrochino, good morning. How are you feeling? How was your travel? I'm still here. I'm still in the hotel. I'll be leaving tomorrow morning. My cat would only use the food button. That's what I'm... That's what I'm guessing Luna will do. She's really smart, though. So, like, if I touch the water and press water... Water. Maybe she'll get it? I don't know. I'll have to learn. They love each other. They snuggle and sleep together all the time. Oh, that's so sweet. I need, I need kitty pictures, please. <laughs> time to go to a work meeting. Okay, I'll make, and I hope that it's a good meeting and it's not too difficult, and I hope you have a wonderful day, because I might not be here later on. Those buttons look great, but I think my three would just use them to ask for more treats. <laughs> there will not be a treat. 
Not on mine. Congrats on the new baby. Yes, the new the new kitty. It'll be so cool if she can use the buttons. I know. It would be amazing. <laughs> Cause I could also do like a button for cuddles. Like if she wants to come up and you know do the floppy thing that she always does. Mostly sleepy. Oh, you just woke up. Good morning. <laughs> Is she having a good time with Cosmo? Yes. They go to the beach every day. <laughs> we have a treat button. Exactly. Y'all are in control of the treat button. <laughs> It'd be nice if they could at least tell me what they want. I can't always tell if they just follow me around and scream endlessly. Right? That's how I feel about Luna. So she just has one level of barking and it's a demand but for what <laughs> start out with a button for treats I think I'm gonna do a button for dinner uh, because dinner is always at the same time I don't want her to get motivated just by treats again because it's a hard thing to take away from a dog as well. Katya, hello, welcome. We are we are cross stitching today, but um, mostly we're just talking. <laughs> Normally, I'm not in a hotel room, <laughs> but you're very welcome here. How are you today? What are you working on? We also love all the crafts, so. Um, Whoops, hang on, I went in the wrong hole. Um, I can't tell if a meeting just let out or what. Um, unfortunately, the, the room is like right next to the main doors for this floor, so I get to hear, we, all of us in this room, get to hear everyone arrive at this floor. Last night, got back from dinner. I had to go out, a long story, I had to go outside, back to the car. And then, as I came back in, oh my god, you know chocolate lava cake? The smell was unbelievably amazing. Melted chocolate and everything. Is that James? Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm streaming at the moment. Is everything okay? Yeah, we were just going to go for lunch or whatever. Okay. I'll, I'll wind this down. Okay. Five okay. minutes? Sure. Okay. Will you close the door if you're going in there? Yeah. All right. I'll see you in five minutes. See you in five minutes. Um, yeah, it was unbelievable. It smelled incredible, and it was right there. And it was wafting towards my room, and I was just like, do I order room service? <laughs> Maybe I will tonight. Anyway. It looks like we are going to go to lunch. I'm not hungry at all, but on TikTok he has a cat named Steve. He uses buttons and so sassy. I'm I'm excited. We shall see. We shall see. They are a bit expensive. And right now it's not high on the list of things to buy. Actually, I was contemplating getting a treadmill today, um, which is a big expense, but you know what? It's um, more motivating and less expensive than a gym membership. So I have a feeling that we won't use a gym membership. I will, I will say hi to him for you. Katie, hello. 
I am so sorry. I have to wind down the stream. It is lunchtime. We are going down to lunch. And I'm not sure what we're going to do after lunch. I don't know if I'm going to be coming back to the room or if I will go sit in there with her. I don't know what she wants me to do. James is working in there with her so he can work from home, which is fantastic in this situation, but um, I don't know what they want. So that is that one done, and now I park, and we're good. So I'll show you again. We did get three lines. <laughs> We probably got about 20, 20 or 25 stitches. I'm working over here. So, I better get going. I will check in with you all over the weekend and on Discord. Feel free to share things on Discord. Oh, Katya, thank you. You're very welcome, Anne. No problem at all. Thank you to all of my lurkers as well. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful lunch and wonderful rest of your day. You too, Catherine. It was great seeing you too. Yes, everybody take care. Have a wonderful day. I'm not sure if we're doing drinking stream this weekend, but I will let you know. Um, it may need to be pushed a little bit further, or it could be a weeknight. If I'm home, if I'm home next week during the week, then I can do it on a weeknight. Thank you so much, Jen. Thank you, Shell. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you for being here. I hope that you all stay safe, be well, and I will talk to you all soon. And thank you for the resubs and everything and follows and all that. Bye.